spoiler review and like explanation of the latest episode of Titan. Titan. We're gonna, we're gonna be a huge spoilers here. So if you are a, a manga reader, because it's a bit of a manga reader, and we're just gonna have some points I found out here quite quickly here, and you probably shouldn't watch this, but I won't talk about the main plotline, right? So you might if you just want to know about Emu, I suppose, but they're gonna spoil some of the other other you know stuff for you, so probably not. Anyway, of course it started off getting Emu as a kid. And then they're making her to be the kind of goddess, right? To be some, so I guess that's the people with some kind of rebellion, right? Not the same people as with um, Jaeger and those guys with Kruger, because this is a way in the past, right? Which is a little strange they don't, but yeah, like, so they're probably not it, but, but similar, right? They have to kind of, and then of course, in the end, the, the Marley comes, right? And I think that's pretty clear, you have, you have the Marley, and between Rocket and later on, so on, right? There's obviously, it's the Marley, right? They're trying to, you know, like distinguished people that are fighting for like their rebellion or their alien freedom and so on, right? So it is simply yeah, a very surprise to show this in the anime so early. And I mean, you probably can't figure it out if you're anime watching, of course, but it's very like, wow, this is for manga. Anyway, what interesting is here is this guy. So this is from the Ilsa notebook, right? And this is a person, this is a, a, a titan that can speak somewhat, right? A titan that can say like, mmm, emu, lady emu, right? And... I think it's pretty clear if you look at this person, that looks like a female for that matter though, but still, if you look at this person and compare these two, right, I think it's really, really clear there. They have the exact same hairdo, the hairline, the kind of jagged thing there, similar face, right? this, is, this must be the same person, right? If you ask me, this thing here, right, is the same person. And I think, you know, yeah, that makes sense because you, you see later on there, it comes soon here, that Emu's people are getting, you know, they're getting, they're getting that kind of the, the execution of becoming titans to attack, you know, the, the people we are following. So yeah, so they were good on that. And this person then later, of course, found Ilsa that reminded, you know, of Ymir and could somewhat say a few words there. So that makes sense. Also, think about it, the Ilsa's death book is, you know, it's older, right? So it's uh, before the current storyline. So that makes sense. That's very, very important to note here, that that is probably the same person, right? And yeah, so that, that kind of build, you know, builds back why the person called it Ymir. It's not because the person was thinking about the goddess Ymir, the person that put the devil to devil, but actually the person that, uh, you know, was the religious figure of Ymir. It was just our Ymir then, so that, that makes sense to me. That's the most, most, most important thing from this flashback, how Ilsa in the data book is supposed to be in there. And of course we see the other series, yeah, she is hated by everyone, clearly the Marley. And so this is, as I mentioned, right, this is a straight up to pretty much recent manga chapter, right? Not extremely recent, but clearly she's been pushed down there, getting as good as I mentioned, with the rest of everyone else, right? And clearly when she's falling, I think I love this scene though, because it was all about showing her that, like, you see the explosion in front of her, right? So they're clearly pushing people down, right? And that's at the edge of uh, the paradise. And you bet that was mentioned that, okay, that's how that person was later searching for Ymir, okay, okay recognize Ymir, not recognize, but thought that was Ymir, right? And this part I want to talk about later, later, this I found very interesting, though, that she was getting, like, slowed down something, like, idly mode or something, by being tired. Uh, but interesting enough at this part, where it's almost like the wheel, why would that be tired? I think that part was mostly interesting, because that's how she managed to eat more cell, right? Because I've always been wondering for me, like, how did she manage to kind of sneak up on, like, Raynor and those people, right? Raynor, Annie, Barrett, and Marcel. Well, apparently she was, like, under the ground and attacked them when they were camping. So that scene is, is I guess, it's canon and super important for us to manga. But, like, that actually explains it, how she did that. Because in the order of you, there's always been that grab thing, right? So that, that sleeping thing here is very, very important how that whole thing happened, because that was a little weird for me always, like, how did she manage to do that? They were, like, experienced, you know, fighters, shifters, uh, they, they shouldn't be, 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 you know, randomly attacked by titans. That is actually very, very intriguing. They showed it in the anime, or in the manga, how Ymir actually captured or uh, eaten more right? So, that's it for me. And it's right, again, that said that the biggest part, of course, is for me that they will see that that person there in the front is super similar, right? Super similar to the person the Titan, the Spotted Ilsa. So anyway, see you guys next time and have a great day.